All right, so hopefully now we're in the right scene. Uh, test security room, yep. Let us do create folder uh, FBX and import new asset. There we go, there's our room. Uh, the dimensions are probably gonna be wrong. So wrong, yep. So let's go back to our security room. Our file scale is 0 0.01. We need a scale factor of, uh, what is this? I did this in centimeters. So that means the power of 10. Let's take a look. What are the coordinates on this object? Let's grab the security room and reset them. Still way too small. Frame up on that object. Yeah, still, still too small. So let's do even bigger. That's perfect. It's exactly all I want. Although it looks like I might have screwed up my z-axis orientation. No, you know, that's, a, that's okay. We can, we can deal with this. All right, so let's go ahead and grab the security camera, which is the first camera we have in the game, and position it. Uh, so it's going to be back here and twist it around 90 degrees. So let's do a 180. There we are. Now the security camera itself, we're supposed to not see everything. And this is where it's gonna, uh, let's see, if we come in here and I'm rotating, I cannot see the door controls, but I can see the doors themselves if I'm sort of centered. So let's see here, in my camera preview window right there, I can't see the doors from this location. Now, I can adjust my, well, far plane does not need to be that large, uh, let's just decrease that. There's no reason to even consider rendering things that far away at the moment. Even that's actually still ludicrous. Let's do uh, 100 units. And of course my near, I can now bring up closer. Now my field of view is 60. I'm going to bump that up to 70, 80. Yeah, yeah, that, the room looks really long though. I might have to adjust the dimensions. It's, it all seems, I'm seeing way too much floor. That's the problem here. I can only see just the tip of the floor if I'm doing this correct. So let's come back into this room and I'm just gonna grab vertices and start collapsing things. We're gonna make the window a little bit shorter and uh, I'm gonna bring the desk a whole lot further up, I think. And the gap between the door and the rest of this stuff should also probably be reduced. So let's grab this and bring these guys a little bit closer as well. Okay, yeah, so let's save that. Delete all by type, history, save, file, and let's do it. Where is the center point for this? I don't like that center point. Let's do uh, D and snap it to the ground, X down there, save, file, export selection. I haven't really tried the workflow of having my just dumb stuff into my game. So let's do send to Unity, uh, set Unity project, and let's find um, a night at Georgie's, even though we're calling it FNAF. Select, file, send to Unity selection, and I'm gonna do the FBX folder and security one. Yes, yes please, yes please, yes please. Come in over here. Hey, wow, that worked really well. Okay, what does my game view show me? Uh, that's the question though. Things are still pushed back really far, and I think that's partly still, my damn perspective is pretty huge. Let's, let's go to 70. This is something I'm gonna have to tweak. I might need to just bring the walls themselves a little bit closer. They might, the room itself might be too wide. I'm also looking at this with a weird preview window. Let's go into game mode, and let's do a 16 by nine view. And I can see both doors. You know, that's a lot of ceiling though. It's a lot of ceiling. That is a lot of ceiling. The windows aren't quite big enough either. Eh, who cares, close enough. Okay, let's start getting things to work, right? So let's go into our, into our scene. So what I want to do now is control things, right? 